I think, you know, going to university sort of in the 90s, um, going away, I suppose, um, it was me and my judge's daughter, but actually she came back halfway um, through her degree. Um, I don't think it was as common as it is today, uh, definitely. So that was quite a big thing. Uh, but I was lucky to have gone somewhere where there was quite a huge sort of uh, Sikh and uh, diverse community in that sense as well. Um, but yeah, I think attitudes are changing now, but there is this thing about, I think, but also the world is changing now. So um, whilst back then it may have been deemed to be a bit safer, I think would women be able to go to university? Yes, they probably would, but actually there's more reliant on girls maybe staying close to home because of this whole safety element. And it's interesting, now I'm a parent uh, and I've got two daughters, that vulnerability about their safety uh, is like so important. And I, I think that now I can see how my parents would have felt back then about, you know, wanting you to go to university. Although I think, we, you know, in the media, we didn't have social media as it is today. So we never really got to uh, a sense of actually, if things were happening around us, well, what they were because actually there wasn't it was either the news or the newspapers but now actually we hear about everything that goes on around us because everybody can record it and and put it on social media immediately and everybody else gets to access it um so i think that kind of heightens that uh in, in terms of um so i think i'm very lucky i think i was very lucky to my parents to have let me go but i also think i pushed the boundary so i i knew that traveling would be frowned upon but i pushed it because i really wanted to do it uh, but I think my father was the one that kind of supported that, as opposed to my mum. She was still very strict. I think he recognised how important it was, having travelled himself, uh, having, you know, wanted to experience life in a different way. I think he could see some of that. Uh, you know, I, I think, you know, he uh, didn't always take to the challenge, but he responded, it, he responded to it very, very well, I have to say. Um, so, you know, I think I did that out of all my sisters and I, you know, would be probably be classed as a rebel if, if you look at it from that perspective. And actually, they then did say to me uh, over the years, you're lucky you had the most freedom, you got away with it. But I said, actually, I pushed for it. You know, I that was who I wanted to be and that's what I wanted. And I just went with it, uh, rightly or wrongly, because actually sometimes, you know, I would look at their situation and think, look, you're married and you're settled and that must be great uh, to have a sense of stability because because I don't think I did have, I, I was somebody that was always very introspective in the sense that I wanted to learn about who I was and it really mattered that I understood who I was and it mattered that what I said was what, it, what came from me and not from somebody else. And I think when you have that kind of view of life, then you do take a different path in many, in many respects, you know. Uh, and uh, our parents tell us all the right things. Absolutely they do, thinking back at it now, Everything my parents told me was nothing was wrong in that. It was totally right. I only understand that now as a mother uh, myself because those are your parents' genuine feelings, you know, uh, the need to protect you, the need to make sure you're safe, you know. So I totally get it. Um, but I would say I'm very privileged. I, you know, come from a background, I think, where my father was very progressive in his outlook in life. Uh, and that's evident in my journey, I would have to say, really, um, because I probably challenged all his viewpoints, uh, you know, uh, in, in every way. And goodness, I hope my children don't do that to me. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm also prepared for that because you have to as a parent, you know, you don't know what's ahead of you. What the best you can do is instill good values in your children and hope that they have that sense of strong grounding to their identity because no matter what, that will always help and guide and assist and support them.